there everybody, this is Caitlin here and today we have a very special booster box opening for you today. As you can see from the different playmat that we have, we are going to be opening up da -da -da, our booster box of the Twilight Wonder for Force of Will. This is the newest set that came out, uh, the second one for the Alice Cluster and I am super excited to get op to get this opening uh, because, I mean, I recently got into Force of Will and whatever, and the the first set, the first box of the Alice set is the first one that got me introduced to it, and then when I found out the new cards were coming out, I was just totally excited, and uh, we got this lovely uh, Force of Will playmat from Geek Treat in Glasgow, and uh, took part in their first Force of Will tournament there, and it was such a nice tournament that everyone got a free playmat for taking part, which was really nice. We had, like, an awesome turnout for it, and I'm super excited because next week there will be another tournament, but this one will be a full rotation one. So like the last one, we could only use uh, cards from SKL, and this one we can use them from the full rotation that's currently in, including Twilight Wanderer. So I'm pretty excited to get this opening started. Um, with the Twilight Wanderer, as far as I'm aware, that we have a top loader inside of it. It's a random one depending on whatever box you get. So we'll open this up and I'll pull out the top loader. And as long as I don't knock over the camera in doing so. So the one that we got for this pack is this awesome one showing the, well, the theme of this uh, set is basically Dark Alice has come. She's here to take some lives. She's basically killed most of the rulers from SKL. I think Prissia, uh, Prissia, Normal Alice and Valentina were the only ones to survive, but um, Valentina underwent a little bit of a change, so to speak, and basically the fallen rulers have came back as shadows, you know, fallen selves. So I like this top holder. I'll probably use this as a poster and have a little look at the box here. Here are all the lovely packs. Kind of a shame that um, the packs aren't black, kind of like um, the two tower set, but you know, I'm pretty happy with this. So if I double check here, we have 36 packs. So we're going to want to open 36, 18, 18 packs per video. So that'll split it in half. So I'll count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. First six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 11, 12, eight. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so we have 18 packs here. The first half of our booster box. I am super excited to get these opened up. Oh, I don't know exactly what I really want to pull most of all. I mean, like, probably like Dark Alice is the ruler. Uh, I'm quite like the look of the, um, the new Dragon J ruler. I think her name's, her name's Sylvia, isn't it? Yeah, her name's Sylvia. So we'll get started on opening up these awesome packs and take a look at what goodies are inside. Oh, I'm so excited. Right, so we'll start this off with the camera focusing, if it could please. So we have Wind Sprite, Water Sprite, we have Whelp Drake, so cute. We have Young Knight of Gloria, we have a Black Ribbon. We have Galahad, the son of the god. That was also a thing that I found out about this set, is that a lot of the Knights of the Round Table who were in older sets got a reprint in this set, which is pretty cool if you were looking to build a Knight of the Round Table deck. We also have Caldera Born Dragon. Our rare is Invasion Ship Golden Hind. Hind? That's Hind, not Hand. Ooh, and we have a foil rare, which is Schrodinger, Schrodinger, the Fallen Black Cat. And ooh, we have a foily common, which is Dark Alice's familiar. So we got um, two foils, I guess. Um, not sure how they've changed the. I don't know if they've changed the format for um, this booster box, but I remember previously in SKL it was like you got at least one foil per pack, and then you got a rare, and then sometimes you got either like a stone or you got uh, a hot stamp one. The hot stamp ones were pretty rare. And obviously I pulled the uh, hot stamp, stamp Prissia before. But that's interesting. Two shiny things. I do like shiny things. Very much so. So we have Drop of Yggdrasil, Send Back, Magic Matchstick, Pride of Knights, Unseen Pressure, Spell Weaver Elf, Nimue the Fairy, 
We have a rare, the Beast Queen's counterattack. Prissia, the surviving ruler. We have a wind magic stone, just as I was talking about it. Ooh, and we have our first hot stamp there, just as I was discussing it. We have Dark Farrier, Shadow Princess of Ebony. Oh, that is like a really nice looking card. Also, she's an S heart. I just noticed that in the bottom corner. She is a very nice looking card. Oh, I'm so excited about these cards. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm just like, oh. Also, I'm struggling to open these packs. Oh no, have they changed how the boosters open? Oh. Come on. Hold on, I might need to use my teeth. There we go. I should have brought a pair of scissors into the room with me. It was a bit of hindsight. Hindsight is a good thing. We have Flame Sprite, Alice's Little Supply Force, Progenitor Demon. Oh, this card is upside down for some reason, but it's a bird familiar of Refrain. Mechanical Sprite, Sylvia's Roar, Elaine the Fairy. We have Dark Resard, the Dying Shadow for our rare. We have a Fire Magic Stone. Ooh, we have another hot stamp one. We have Leviathan, the Demon Sword. Leviathan? Leviathan. I think it's Leviathan because it said tin, not thin. Two hot stamps already. I'm actually quite surprised. And we saw a little look of the Shadow Wizard, one of the Shadow Rulers. If I could just open up these packs without it, too much trouble, that would be delightful. Must be a different kind of foil that they have. Okay, new machines as well. We have mass-produced giant landmine, Dark Alice is familiar, Fruit of Yggdrasil, Insomniac Dormouse, Flame Sprite, Spirit of Yggdrasil, we have Deploy of Old Defense Device, ooh, we have Jeanne d'Arc, the Shadow Prince of Puree, another of the Shadow Rulers, we have a regular rare of the Schrodinger, the Fallen Black Cat, and we have a foil, Grand Cross. So that's kind of funny how we ended up getting two foils uh, in that kind of first pack there. But I have a feeling that Schrodinger is like an essential if you're playing Dark Alice. Because, you know, it's a cat, but for some reason it's a regalia, which is kind of, I don't know why, I find that quite funny. Next we have Insomniac Dormouse, Flame Sprite, Alice's Little Supply Force, Progenitor Demon. This bird is apparently always upside down. <laughs> Familiar of refrain. Kildera Born Dragon, Spirit of Yggdrasil, the Overlord's Baptism is a rare. Ooh, we have an SR, Elizabeth, the Shadow Princess of Blood. Ooh, and we have another hot stamp one. We have Gawain, the Knight of the Sun. So I'll put the hot stamps here, I'll put the SRs there. I'm pretty happy with what we're pulling so far. The rate at which we're pulling the hot stamps is quite insane. I don't know whether they've changed the rarity of them or whatever. They, they, might, they might as well have done. But we have no rulers as of yet. Alice's Little Supply Force, Progenit or Demon. Familiar refrain, this time you weren't upside down. Mechanical Sprite, All Consuming Suspicion, Hector de Marie, the Acolyte of Mad Demon, Spell Weaver Elf, Holy Ground of the Four Sacred Beasts is our rare. We have another rare, which is the Leviathan, and we have a foily uh, Hera, the Goddess of Jealousy. She looks very nice. It's been quite uh, quite kind with the rares, I just noticed. But, uh, that might have something to do with, I believe there's a new rarity, which was uber rare or something like that, which I think affects only uh, the ruler cards, or it's like super fancy artwork of them and stuff, which was pretty awesome looking. We have Send Back, Magic Matchstick, Pride of Knights, Unseen Pressure, Servant of Reflect, Dance of the Shadows, The Beast Queen's Guardian, we have our rare, which is Percival, the Seeker of the Holy Grail. We have a Magic Windstone. And we have a common Light Sprite, which is Foily. Which is nice and shiny, shiny. I like the shiny, shinies. I ended up actually buying two boxes of this set. Because I wanted one to open, of course. And obviously, maybe one to open off camera. I might do like a little video just showing off uh, what are the rares, the foils, and that that I pulled from that box. I probably won't go through the whole process of... Uh, showing everything that I pulled because, you know, that's a bit too much for, you know, one week. We have Water Sprite, Whelp Drake, Young Knight of Gloria, Black Ribbon, Beastly Attack, Shadow Doppelganger, Sylvia's Roar, our rare is Dark Machina, Gliding Shadow, we have a foily Magic Stone, which is kind of nice, and we have a foil of the Beast Queen's Counterattack. 
So that's kind of funny how the the magic stones can also come in foil, which is kind of you know insane because now people are going to want all foil stuff for their decks and everything. Be absolutely crazy. Here we have Servant of Reflect, Valentina's Zealot. We have Sylvia's Clanmate, Mechanical Knight, Protection of the Fairies, Dark Melgus, the Black, f no, the Shadow Flame. We have September Hair. Well, the rare we have is Gawain, the Knight of the Sun. We have a Magic Water Stone, and ooh, we have our first J Ruler, and it's a hot stamped one. Uh, let me just show the back of it first. We have Sylvia Gill Paral. Par Palavilleris, I can't say your name. Her judgment is one fire, one green, and two. And then fire magic stones you control can produce green. And we flip it over and she turns into an awesome dragon. Look at that, it's so shiny, the light is reflecting from it. But she looks awesome. She's got flying, she's got swiftness, she's a dragon. She's awesome. I totally want to build a deck, uh, a dragon deck surrounding her because she's totally epic. I'm pretty happy that I also managed to get her the hot stamped one and not the uber hot stamped one because uh, I like how red and fiery her card art is, so I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know whether how rare the uber rare jailers are, uh, but I can just open her pack. <laughs> ah, have they made these even harder to open? Oh my goodness. Open! Open sesame, please. If I say the magic words, will you open up? No. The pack said though, I have to open it up with my teeth. I could hurt my teeth doing that, that is not nice. We have Beastly Attack, Maritime Lookout, Flash of Demon Sword, Justice of God Sword, Dark Alice's Shadow Warrior, Spirit of Yggdrasil, Deployable Defense Device, Jeanne d'Arc, Shadow Princess of Purity. The rares are flying all over the place. We have a Light Magic Stone, Foil, and we have a Mechanical Knight, Foil. My piles are getting a little bit disorganised there. But it's okay, we will carry on. What are we at? We're at 12 minutes. We need to speed this up. I need to get through the packs. Through all the packs. We have Rewriting Laws, Laying the Foundation, Flame Wing Wyvern, Fairy of the Lake, Mass Produced Giant Landmine, Hector de Marie, Spell Weaver Elf, our rare is the holy ground of the four sacred beasts. Ooh, and we have another ruler. We have, well, if we flip it over, we have at this ruler side, it's reflect child of potential. And then when a J activates, it becomes refrain child of convergence. So technically, they are two characters in one, which is a little silly for J rulers. And we have a foil of the scorn of Dark Alice. Ooh, she is so evil. Killing killing all those lovely rulers. Well, to be fair, Prissia is my favourite ruler, ruler of, out of all of them. And, uh, I mean, I like Valentina. I don't quite understand why Valentina became evil, though. Uh, I don't understand why, because she was meant to be, like, the princess of love, if I remember correctly. At least that's what her, uh, her card art said or whatever, that she was the princess of love. So I'm like, why, why are you evil now? I don't, I don't understand. Why, why you become evil? We have Dark Alice's Familiar, Fruit of Yggdrasil, Insomniac Dormouse, Flame Sprite, Alice's Little Supply Force, Nemu the Fairy, Dark Meldus the Shadow Flame, Grand Cross. Ooh, we have another SR, which is the Little Match Girl, which looks very cute. Oh, I also realise now, the Grand Cross is also a rare as well, so we'll stick that in the pile. And we have a foil of Sylvia's Roar, which will no doubt be going in our dragon deck when I eventually build it. <laughs> We're getting down to the last couple of packs for this side of the box. I'm actually quite surprised we managed to pull two J rulers in the first part. Uh, that's quite exciting. We have Progenitor or Demon. And you're upside down again. You have Familiar of Refrain. Mechanical Sprite. All-consuming Suspicion. Burn to Cinders. September Hair. We have the Final Word. We have a Rare, which is Beat of the Phoenix Wings. Ooh, we have an SR, which is Ziz, the bird that, envelop that envelops the sky. The sky. And the shiny we have is Wall of Ideas. The super duper shiny. Shiny cards, foil, whatever you want to call them. I just like them because they sparkle a little bit. Also, apparently these, apparently these cards here, if you scratch the side of the paper, 
Uh, it's scented. I don't know whether that's true or not. I've not tried it, but I'm not going to try it on video. That would look very silly. We have a light sprite, shadow assassin, drop of yggdrasil, send back, magic matchstick, final forfeit. We have sane hatter. We have Susarimi, goddess of passion, as our rare. Ooh, we pulled the Sacred Beast Memoria, which is one that I really, 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 really wanted to pull because I wanted to put it in my Sacred Beast deck. That is very exciting that we pulled this. Very happy with that. And we have a foil of the Caldera Born Dragon. So I'm pretty happy so far. I pulled the ruler that I wanted. I pulled the special magic stone that I wanted. Um, we pulled quite a few hot stamps, which I'm pretty happy for. Uh, if I could think of anything else that I really want, I'd, I mean, I'd like to pull the Dark Alice J Ruler. That would be nice as well. <laughs> Fingers crossed. We have Burn to Cinders, Light Sprite, Shadow Assassin, Drop of Yggdrasil, Send Back, Nimu the Fairy, Dark Milgus. We have Grand Cross as our rare. And we have another rare, which is Excalibur. And we have a foil Guinevere, the Jealous Queen. Oh, Guinevere, Guinevere. Where art thou, Guinevere? I know that's not the thing, but I'm, you know, Juliet was in a different set. She's in an older set. She's a fairy tale card, if I remember correctly. Even though Romeo and Juliet's not really a fairy tale at all. We have Magic Matchstick, Pride of Knights, Unseen Pressure, Servant of Reflect, Valentina Ziot, September Hair. We have the final word. Beat of the Phoenix Wings is our rare. We have Excalibur. And we have a foil of Hirga the Drinker of Death. I can't say your name. I can't say the names of things. Uh, second last pack for this part of the video. Oh my gosh. What are we going to pull? <gasps> we have Sylvia's Climate. We have Mechanical Knight, Protection of the Fairies, we have the Scorn of Dark Alice, we have Wind Sprite, Final Forfeit, we have Sane Hatter, who looks dashing, we have Susahiri Him, can't say your name, is the rare. Ooh, and we pulled Change the World, Orb of Illusion, it's a new regalia, which is looking very nice. Ooh, and we pulled a foil of Dark Grizzard, as you hear my dog barking in the background. He's a silly, silly dog. Frosty! Shh! <laughs> of course my dog just has to bark as we get into the end of the video. Maybe he's excited for the new card as well. Shh! Oh, so unprofessional. So unprofessional. My dog just doesn't realise. We have all-consuming suspicion. Burn to cinders. Late Sprite. Shadow Assassin. Uh, drop of Yggdrasil, the Overlord's Invasion Party, Flame Dragon Commandment, Vultaneer, Eraser of Wind is the rare, actually, I just realised. We have a Magic Water Stone, ooh, and we have, ooh, that's a very nice hot stamp stone, which is Ruler's Memoria. If you control a Regalia, this card enters your Magic Stone area, rested. Oh, huh. well, it's still a nice looking stone. So we ended up pulling quite a lot of awesome stuff already, if I can just quickly sort these piles. And if my dog would just stop barking, that would be nice as well. But I don't get nice things apparently. Well, I get nice cards, but I don't get my dog being professional on camera. So, we pulled two rulers so far. We've pulled a couple of lovely SRs, some nice stones shiny things and rares so in part two we will be opening up the rest of the box and we will see what else we get in this new set of the twilight wanderer see you guys next time for that video